Hi, I'm Bill Hackshaw from Broloop. This truck beside me has got one of our Broloop automated greasing systems fitted. It's uh, a log truck based in Napier, works out of the Panpack mill. And the truck's fitted with our system because the operator wants to have grease while the thing's moving. The idea is that rather than do a manual grease once every few thousand k's and stop and, uh, and do it while it's static, this system can deliver grease while the truck's actually moving down the road and doing its work. So the grease is able to be delivered around the points and into the, uh, the, the wearable parts and, and everywhere where it's needed as the truck's going about its day. So it's set probably to grease around about every two or three hours. Depends on the type of work, you know, you can grease every hour. The, the time is built into the pump and it can adjust to suit the environment. So what are we really looking at then is a robot. We've got a robot bolted onto this truck that's going to grease it while the driver's operating the machine, the truck. The robot doesn't need a day off, it doesn't have a sickie, it doesn't uh, decide it wants a pay rise or it's going to quit. It just keeps on doing its thing year in, year out. And these systems have proven to be reliable. We have a very, uh, very good extended warranty available on, on, on our systems and the reason being that they are quite a simple technology and, and very durable. So what you've got is you've got a reservoir that contains standard EP2 chassis grease. Any type of grease you like, it doesn't matter, as long as it's not the, the, the type of uh, grease that's high in Teflon or anything that's going to block up a greasing system of any type. But that's, that's uncommon. So just any old standard EP2 workshop grease. Holds four litres in the case of this one of grease. And then below that you've got your pumping uh, mechanism. And the pumping mechanism is electric. We've gone away from connecting ourselves up to the truck's air system. No longer do we have to worry about uh, all the technicalities of that. It's a simple electric pump. It operates at low pressure, around about 70 bar of pressure, normally 65, 70 bar of pressure. But the beautiful thing is that with an electric pump, when the weather gets cold and you get down to freezing point and, and you've got EP2 grease to pump, the pressure can uh, control goes up and you're able to deliver more pressure as required. So it continues to work, it continues to function way in the deep south of New Zealand and, and at minus three and four degrees it'll still work fine. Simply just the pressure might go up to 100 bar or 120 bar. It doesn't really uh, affect it at all. We have uh, the, 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 the line system in this truck is, is rated to 840 bar of pressure. It's a Kevlar lined hose, hose system, rubber, rubber coated and subsequently there's no concern around pressure uh, affecting the, the, the hosing. The, the connections, the fittings are all uh, uh, compression fittings, nut and olive, so that they're designed for, for logging and for, we use the same fittings for ground spreading and for different industries where there's a, a more durability required. And that holds everything in place far better. We've learned over the years that these are the sort of things that need to be done to satisfy customers like Shannon Nuku who owns this truck. Then we have uh, a system where the, the timer is actually built into the pump so there's no longer a, a timer floating around in behind the dash that's got to be uh, adjusted and, and found first of all. It's, it's, a, it's very easily accessible here in the pump. The timer has two dials and with those two dials you can control the frequency of the greasing and the amount of grease that you deliver to the, to the chassis system and that timer is, includes two lights so there's an indicator of light to show that the power is fine, that the that wiring's all safe and sound, so the operator can feel comfortable about that. And secondly, there's a light that comes on to indicate when the trucks, when the pump's actually greasing the truck and when it's operating. That light is replicated with a button on the dash. So the button on the dash also illuminates when the, the, the grease cycle is happening so that the driver knows it's, it's going on and, and all fine. And that button's also a push button which can override the automatic system and give it the ability, give the driver the ability to give it an extra shot of grease when maybe there's a lot of road wash or, or a Ford or something that's, that's uh, put a bit of water into the into the joints in the chassis and it requires a bit more grease to be delivered. The, the system, one of the beautiful things about this uh, bro, bro loop system is that it can be manually overridden. So grease can be delivered using a grease gun. Now the reason for that, we do that, is because if something happened to the wiring uh, let's say that uh, there was a, a mechanical damage, something hit the, hit the pump and, and, and caused the thing to be uh, to 
to not be functioning correctly, then at least it can be greased manually and continue working until such time as an auto sparky or someone can repair that wiring or put it, put it back into, into shape. So that's a peace of mind. There's, there's more peace of mind built into our systems. We have a, um, a very simple block mechanism to deliver the grease in a measured way. So you get more grease with your kingpins and, and than you do with your brake components, for instance, so that it's measured and, and delivered in a metered manner. Um, then, th so the, the, the blocks themselves are very simple. They don't have any springs or O-rings or seals in them. It's simply the pressure of the grease that makes the sliders work and, and delivers the grease. So there's very little that can go wrong with the blocks. The pump with an electric motor, a strong electric motor, and the timer built in, there's very little that can go wrong also with the pump. But to, to give even more peace of mind to our customers, uh, in an environment like this, uh, this workshop of Alex Hayes here, they, they'll carry uh, an extra couple of pumps. And so if anybody does have uh, any damage, anything happening, they can just swap out the pump and, and, and carry right on. We, we want to do everything we can to provide peace of mind and, and lower cost of ownership. We don't want any uh, headaches or, or concerns. These guys work some huge hours and they, they don't need that extra concern around uh, whether or not the greasing system is going to be working when they get up in the morning. So at 2, 2 a.m. So that's, um, that, that's really uh, uh, most of the finer points. We've, we've improved um, a few things along the way uh, to, uh, to make it even better. What we've done is we've introduced uh, a new level of, of quality into the seals in our pump. We have Viton rubber instead of the more traditional rubber and that allows it to uh, be resistant to the effect of the solvents in the grease. So Viton being um, just a, a next generation uh, product that will give it a longer life. A along with that we, um, we have other coatings that are improved and stainless steel where we can. So stainless steel in the follower plate and stainless steel on the guide rod. Of course the follower plate's a great uh, development. We're not the only product out there with a follower plate but it's certainly something that a, a customer should always look for because the follower plate allows you to keep all the moisture air and dust out of the grease. It, it shows the level very clearly that the, that the grease is, is at and, and allows it to stay clean, which is what you want. You want everything clean and sealed and, and one complete closed system. So we're talking about years. That this is a 10-year truck, this is a Kenworth, and the breathing system has to be a 10-year system at least as well. It's got to be, it's got to last the distance. So with the, the, the type of technology that we use, we have a progressive technology and subsequently, the beauty of that is that if there's any point in the system where grease isn't being delivered, if there's a blockage or a restriction, a fitting gets crushed or, or, or hose gets folded over, then you'll know immediately that you've got a point not taking grease and you can do something about it. And because it's EP2 standard chassis grease, you've got a bit of time up your sleeve, a few days, without any wear happening. So the beauty of that is that you can, you can find the fault and you can fix it straight away rather than having uh, finding out three or four months down the track that you've had a point not getting grease and you've got subsequently you've got uh, damage to repair. So the system will indicate that, that there's, uh, that there's a pressure fault through a blockage and um, allow the operator to know. But that's, again, that's a very simple mechanism. It doesn't require a lot of rocket science to be able to do that. So that's, that's really your, your, your bro loop system, the, 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 the key parts of it. The, um, the, the, the controls, as I say, are very simple. It, it's a matter of removing this cap and adjusting if you want more grease or less grease. And uh, it's, just, it's really um, a simple system. That's why people love it. There's a heck of a lot of them and used in, in logging, especially here in, uh, in Napier at the Panpack Mill and, and all around the country and around the world. We've got, I guess, something like 3,000 of them now running around New Zealand. The, 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 the trouble that we have with them is, is, is very nearly nil, so you know the the the, 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 um, the product's well proven, and I believe our service and support is well proven as well. So we're very proud of the product, and we're very proud of our relationships with these uh, transport operators in logging and and in other fields. So thank you very much for taking a look, and uh, we look forward to hearing from you soon. Thank you.